Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have another NFL tier list, but this one's going to be a fun one. We are ranking the NFL mascots today. And before we get into the video, yeah, make fun of my jersey. I'm wearing a Cowboys jersey. I pretty much hate them as much as you guys do, so I'm not offended to any hate comments. First, let's look at the tiers of which I'll be ranking them at. At the top, we have the best. Then we have good below that. In the middle, we got average. Then below that is this guy stinks. And the last row, the worst of the worst, is just big L. So uh, let's get started. First off, we have the Baltimore Ravens with Poe the Raven. Um, this is named after Edgar Allan Poe. A little creative there. He's a poet. Um, kind of creepy looking, not gonna lie. Um, he's this scary black looking raven here, and he's wearing a raven's jersey. Um, I mean, it definitely fits the theme of the team, but it's kind of weird looking. I'll put it into average. Buffalo Bills with Billy Buffalo. He's this big blue buffalo. Um, kind of goofy looking, um, but at least it fits the team name. I think we'll put it in good. It's not too bad. And he's described as an eight foot tall buffalo. That's pretty big. And then we have the Cincinnati Bengals with the Who Day Bengal. Um, this is just a dude dressed up in a Bengal, um, human looking Bengal. Uh, <laughs> kind of weird looking, not gonna lie. Um, but it could be worse, so we'll put it in average. Okay, next up we have the Cleveland Browns who actually have a couple mascots listed here. It's uh, Chomps, Swagger Jr. and Brown and the Elf. So Chomps is a dog. Um, based on the dog pound of the team. Um, and then Swagger Jr. is a bull um, mastiff, who is the newest mascot. And then there's Brian the Elf, who I'm guessing is just like an old mascot. Um, they got a lot, so I gotta give them credit for that. Um, they gotta make up for having a horrible team. So I think we'll put the, those guys in good. Just and then we got um, Miles and Thunder 2 for the Denver Broncos. So um, Thunder 2 is a legitimate horse. He's an actual Bronco. So credit to them for actually having a legit horse as their um, mascot. And then you got this creepy looking horse dude as the uh, suit. Um, but I like that they use a real horse, so we'll put that in good. And that actually reminds me, Broncos country, let's ride. Broncos country, let's ride. Here we go, Russ, thanks, appreciate it very much. Russell wasn't so weird. All right, then we got the Houston Texans who have the Toro the Bull. Um, he's a dark blue bull um, wearing the Texans jersey here. This is the first time I've seen a lot of these mascots too, so these are my honest reactions to seeing them. Um, I actually like this, a cool looking bull. I think we'll put it in good. And then we got Indianapolis Colts, which their guy's name is Blue, kind of weird. And he's a blue horse figure. Um, kind of an uncreative name here, and uh, kind of weird looking, so we'll put him in This Guy Stinks. And then we have Jackson DeVille for Jacksonville Jaguars. He's this weird looking Jaguar with some goofy glasses. Um, not really a huge fan of this guy, so we'll put him in This Guy Stinks as well. He just looks weird. And then we have the KC Wolf for Kansas City Chiefs. Um, I remember seeing an article of a super fan who would dress up as the wolf and he just got like arrested for like robbing a bank which is kind of funny but I guess he was inspired by the mascot here oh, I actually like this mascot we'll put him in uh, we'll put him in average he's not he's not horrible and then for the Las Vegas Raiders we have the Raider Rusher who is honestly like one of the scariest weirdest looking mascots I've ever seen it's literally just a head with legs and arms um, this guy's really creepy uh, just like their team, they're not very good. This mascot kind of sucks. We'll put him at the bottom in L, the first one in that category. And then the Chargers, um, they had a mascot. They don't have one right now. But, so their old mascot was Boltman, which is like this creepy looking dude with a bolt on his head. And he's got weird looking glasses. He kind of looks like a McDonald's like mascot. I think we'll put him in L as well, which is probably a good thing that they got rid of him. Now we got the Miami Dolphins with TD. You got a little double meaning there, the Dolphin and Touchdown. Um, not gonna lie, this thing's kind of creepy looking. I think a Dolphin as a human like mascot just doesn't work. And he kind of looks like a character that would show up on like a kid's show. Um, I think we'll put TD in this guy stinks. Don't like him. And then you have the New England Patriots with Pat Patriot. This is literally just like a 1700s like American Revolutionary War guy. I like the American theme to it, but he's kind of creepy looking and he's kind of boring, so we'll put him in this guy stinks. And then uh, New York Jets are listed as they don't have a mascot. I'm seeing a bear mascot, it's kind of weird. That's a shame. 
Jets poverty franchise, poverty mascot. We'll put them in an L. And then we got the Steelers with Steely McBeam. What? What is this dude? He's like a he's a steel worker. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, not a huge fan. We'll put him in. This guy stinks. Then uh, the Titans have a raccoon named T Rack. No idea why they would have a raccoon as oh I guess it says it's the state animal of Tennessee. Um, they could have done some so much cooler for the name Titans. They could use like a warrior or something. I think we'll put T Rack and L. Like who likes a raccoon? And now we have the Cardinals with Big Red. Um, this is just a Big Red Cardinal, as the name suggests. I think we'll put him in average. And then you have Freddy Falcon for the Atlanta Falcons. Um, kind of creepy looking with those big beady eyes. Uh, we'll put Freddy Falcon in. This guy stinks, just like the Falcons giving up a 28-3 lead and losing the game. And then we have Sir Purr from the Carolina Panthers. This dude is just like... Pitch Dark um, Panther, which I guess is accurate to Panther. He's got a Panther jersey on. Um, I kind of like this one. He's not like creepy looking, so we'll put him in good. I have Staley DeBear for Chicago Bears, um, named after the team founder A.E. Staley. So they got a little history there. Um, this bear is kind of boring looking. He's not like super fun, um, and he's just boring and brown. So we'll put him in average. And then the Cowboys, this may surprise you, but I really don't like this mascot as a Cowboys fan. You got Rowdy the Cowboy. I kind of want to punch Rowdy in the face, just like I want to punch Dak Prescott in the face. I'm not going to lie. We'll put Rowdy in. This guy stinks, just like the Cowboys. And then we have Rory the Lion for the Detroit Lions. I don't know, not a huge fan. I think a lot of these animal mascots just look creepy as humans, um, but we'll put him in average. All right, the Packers are listed as not having a mascot, but they used to have a guy named Packy Packer, who was like this short little dude wearing a Packers helmet. Kind of boring there. And then obviously they have the whole cheese head thing going on, which you see a lot. I don't know if you count that as a mascot, but I think we'll put the Packers in average. And then we have Rampage for the Los Angeles Rams. Um, just a Ram looking dude here. Pretty basic. Um, he's all right, we'll put him in average. We really haven't had any in the best category yet. Then we have Victor the Viking. Um, big Viking here, dude. He's got the helmet. He's got the Viking beard. Big bushy eyebrows. Um, horns coming out. Actually don't mind him. I think we'll put him in good. And then we have Gumbo, who is a dog for the Saints. Um, named after Gumbo, the food, which is a popular dish in New Orleans. Um, creative, like, name there, but he's kind of a boring looking dog. We'll put them in... Uh, we'll put him in good. And then the Giants are listed as not having a uh, mascot as well, which is kind of lame. The Jets and the Giants play in the same stadium. They don't have a mascot. That's kind of lame. Put them in. This guy stinks. And then you got Swoop for the Eagles. Um, Swoop is an eagle. I don't like the Eagles. Their fans are just... They're something else. Um, but at least they are good. They've been good for the past few years. Um, I can't speak as a Cowboys fan. But uh, I think we'll put Swoop in average. He's all right. As we wrap up here, we come to Sourdough Sam for the 49ers. Um, he is looking like a guy who was on the Gold Rush in California. He's got his little bandana cowboy hat here. Um, not a huge fan, but at least it fits the theme. We'll put him in average. Kind of a weird name. Then we have Blitz, Boom, and Taima for the Seahawks, who are just a bunch of birds. Um, eh, they're all right. We'll put them in average. Then we have Captain Fear for the Buccaneers, who's this pirate looking dude. Eh, he's, all, he's all right as well. We'll put him in average. And finally, we come to Major Tutty for the Washington Commanders. As you guys know, if you've seen some of my other videos, hate the new name they got. So lame. They should have stayed as the Redskins. A lot better brand name, cooler name, cooler jersey. And another Washington L. You have a pig as a mascot. Like, what are you thinking? This is a fat looking pig here with a really weird generic looking commander's jersey. And he's got a helmet with a big W on his head, which is ironic because they really don't take a lot of W's. We'll put them in L at the bottom. Cannot stand the commanders or anything with that team. Anyways, guys, that's going to be a wrap on the video. Hope you guys enjoyed my rankings of all the NFL mascots. Let me know which one is your favorite or which one you think is the worst down below. And make sure to subscribe if you are new here. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.